Alright kids, I was planning on doing a little bit more than uh, this one video this week, but uh, it's been kind of a hard uh, week, uh, very heavy drama, a friend of mine is going through a very rough path, patch emotionally, uh, and it's, it's actually quite that bad. Um, I uh, decided to uh, do uh, Dollar Tree Theater. I just uh, picked up this uh, Western from Dollar Tree. Run for the High Country. Uh, it stars Paul Winters, who also wrote and directed it. Uh, apparently he's uh, uh, more of a uh, cinematographer than a director and writer um, oops and um, this just just to let you know this is uh, Dollar Tree Theater episode 23 uh, Dollar Tree Theater is a thing uh, I am probably going to stick with Dollar Tree purchase, purchases because I have so many and I have you know maybe one or two possibly three uh, multi-packs but Dollar Tree Theater was started by Hobbs Horror. I'll put a link to his latest Dollar Tree uh, episode. Uh, but you know, since uh, Dollar Tree is a, a dollar twenty-five now, a, a, anything that you buy or could be a, a gift, free, uh, anything that's a dollar twenty-five or less. Uh, I went to a library sale. Everything was two dollars, so it dis yeah, that disqualifies, and that's fine. Uh, I like I said, I, I got a plenty of Dollar Tree uh, uh, movies, but let's get back to uh, Run for the High Country. Now I think uh, Peck and Paul has a movie called Ride for the High Country, so this is probably why. Uh, this, I mean, as a tribute, this is probably a, you know, a nod toward Pe the Peckinpah movie. I have not seen it, so I can't really compare it. Uh, the other star, as you can see, there's a uh, native child. I'm not sure if he's actually native or not, because there's really no information on him. Uh, his name is Aiden Yazi. That's a Y A Z Z I E. This is actually disappointing because, uh, uh, of course, I'm going to be showing you some pictures. You're going to look at it and think it, it's probably a good production. Uh, in a lot of ways, it, that's true. It, it is, uh, uh, I mean, the costuming, uh, the actors at least have a, a great look. Uh, the setting, I think it was shot in Arizona. In fact, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so no ran desert. Uh, the production company is obviously owned by uh, the director, Mr. Uh, Winters. Well, what ends up happening in this? Uh, well, Paul Winters uh, plays him, uh, Marshall John Town. I think he's a more of a. Uh, I don't think he's settled one place, but he, he goes to this area. He ends up ha uh, running into a, a Roman band of thieves. Um, sure, who. Uh, let's see if I can figure out. Because. Most of these uh, actors do not have pictures at their IMDb, much like Aiden. Aiden has just one credit, and it's this movie. And I'm uh, sure I know the... Uh, I, oh, okay. The uh, leader of the band uh, is uh, Chakan. That's C-H... 
A C O N. He's part uh, played by Art uh, Mantano. There's not a lot of great acting in this movie, uh, or, or even good. I mean, Paul Winters is okay. Uh, Aiden, I don't think he has much to say. They don't know each other's languages. They they can't speak. They can't really communicate uh, with with uh, words too much. But what ends up happening? Uh, the the marshal ends up having him run in with uh, uh, with the, uh, the the thieves. And so does uh, uh, Aiden. Uh, let's just call him Aiden. I'm not sure what the, the pronunciation of his uh, name, his character's name. Uh, well, the, the boy's uh, family is killed. Uh, I don't think they're at home. They're... You know, they're probably possibly out hunting or something. I'm not sure, but uh, he hides so he doesn't get killed. Uh, the marshal ends up having to run in with him. He, they don't kill him, but they put him on his horse and you know, sort of string him up. You know, his hands are tied behind his back, and they pretty much leave him like that. Uh, just sitting on his horse who for some reason doesn't move that much <laughs> I mean, but he's hung to the tree branch and uh, Aiden comes along and helps him out so they team up because you know they have a common en enemy and that's essentially it uh, uh, the huge problem with this movie and it's it, uh, most of it has voiceovers. There's even voiceover describing the action that is on the screen. It is, and it, obviously, Paul Winters does not how to know how to construct a narrative even within a scene uh, because it's either describing what's going on. Or it's stuff that could be dialogue between uh, characters to feed the information to the viewer. Uh, this doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, well, bits and pieces of it, but 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 it's mostly voiceover. Either the marshal or an older version of a uh, Aiden's character, because it, it's obviously not him. Uh, I, I actually I think. Uh, you know, the uh, leader of the bandits actually has some voiceover, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, I watched this the other day. I, this, usually I jump right into, uh, you know, to watch it and jump into the review. But, yeah, it's it looks really good. I mean, you, like I said, you look at the pictures, you think this might be a decent western. These problems are just too big uh, to uh, you know to ignore. I mean, it goes through the whole fucking movie. Uh, just all this narration and you know not being able, really, truthfully, not be able to construct a narrative uh, scene by scene or as a whole. Um, I don't know how many movies he's directed. Hopefully, it gets better. But it's really kind of a missed opportunity when you have such, I mean, great costuming, great scenery, everybody looks the part, but it's, it just didn't work. Uh, uh, it's almost kind of annoying. I mean, very tedious to sit through something like this. Uh, very disappointed. I was rooting for it. I mean, Dollar Tree Theater movie. Uh, 
possibility. I mean, it does look good. Like I said, I keep on saying it. Yeah, this looks like it could could have been good. But, uh, well, that's it for <laughs> this Dollar Tree Theater. Uh, until next time, stay safe. Always have a good time. And work on your mental health. Uh, I, I think I'm going to add uh, kind of a suicide hotline at the end of this. I know it has nothing to do with uh, uh, the movie or at a, at anything, but it's just something that's been weighing on me for actually a few weeks. Things have come to a head at work uh, with my friend. Uh, and like I said, just take care of yourself, guys and girls. <laughs> uh, bye now.